Conan after a pretty tough session in the uh, in the brain gym at Belfast. Jamie, you got finally got the fight that you've been after and had a couple of times for a long time. Uh, Paul Edwards in his home city in Liverpool on January the 21st. Uh, tell us a little bit about that fight and how, how you come together as well. I was supposed to be fighting um, John Dunley in uh, May, uh, November, starting in November. And, and then uh, we were training for that, so uh, the 28th of November, Paul Edwards was fighting in Liverpool and Frank Maroney came and says, we'll fight that there for a British Eliminator, so jumped at it. Training was going brilliant for out there. I was doing eight rounds with my brother Michael and Mark McCulloch. And then uh, the build got cancelled, pushed back to the 21st of January and picked up again in his hometown. Yeah. Hopefully he's got a big crowd, so I'm lo loving going to be here today. Yeah. But uh, you potentially were quite close to a, a fight like this on a few occasions. Do you ever get kind of, you know, a bit disheartened when you get so close to a fight? And then, you know, it's cancelled. Does that kind of ever play on your mind for the next fight? Like? When I was turning pro with John, he says this is going to happen. No matter what, there's not much flyweights around. Bills fall through, a recession was coming through, and he says, you're going to get setbacks, like us. So uh, from the start, I always expected it. And uh, the very first year or something, I had four or five fights. Four fights and um, no cancellations. And I didn't know what he was on to, but the second second year, it's just, it was four or five cancellations. and. It's just learning, your, preparing yourself mentally to get back up, psyched up for the fight. And I'll always have it in mind that you are fighting, no matter yeah. if you hear, oh, this may be off, just keep it in your head that you're fighting. Because just stay you, focused, I stay basically. focused that you're going to, because it can come in a, in a flash, you have to be ready at 24 7. And you've been in a, in a gym like the Brain Gym as well, where there's a, a, you know, a great deal of history, <gasps> a lot of champions as well. Does that get you in the championship mentality, or did you have that anyway before you came to the gym, do you think? You always want to win. It's been drilled into me since I was a kid. I never liked losing, Even the, no matter who it is against. Like, what is it? Monopoly or not? I, I hate losing, so yeah. I have to. I have to win. And when I came here, I seen the likes of Paul McCluskey and Neil Sinclair, and I always was training here as an amateur as well. John used to bring me down the spot. Right, so you used to come down the odd time oh, anyway. So it wasn't like it was no, a, no, a no. you know a, a place that you weren't familiar with. At the start, on the first day coming in the spot, Colin Muffet and. Ian McGee was born, uh, Cam O'Hara, Jim Rack. The, the gym was packed, it was a Saturday, there was a pre, it was a press day I'd say. I was in, one of the last ones in the spar and I was only about 15, 14 and this guy's trying to kill me because in amateur spar you're not yeah. really trying to kill each other. Yeah. And this guy in this wee tiny ring is beating me around. It. Yeah. So uh, from then on it was a, a real awakening and then after that day John laughed at me and says, do you still want to do this? And I was supposed to do it since then. Yeah. Just for the cameras. Not bare knuckles, uh, uh, just, just wear... So you, you, you've got a few uh, fights under your belt now. You're starting to get past that novice yeah. stage into the more, obviously the more contender because you're getting... Uh, you want it, then the likes of their you, think, you think that these sort of opportunities come quicker in the, later because, in, in the lighter weight, especially the flyweights, because there's, there's not a, a, it's not a really a deep pool of quality, you know? Yeah. Well, you get thrown in pretty quick, you know, even um, the David, uh, Amar al is I think he's got one win or something, but he was ABA junior yeah. champion, the English ABA junior <coughs> champion, and he's awkward as sin, you know, I mean, for your David, like, you get thrown in, like, out there, it was uh, handled pretty easy, and he, everyone sort of beats him, but if he was a journeyman in a higher weight class, he would win more fights. Yeah. It's just the way it goes, and the la later weights, when you start getting the lazy Del or Spencer, it doesn't, you're just, you're just beating him, and you're... Yeah. He's not throwing back at you where you can make him work more, you look better. He doesn't make you look good. So you've got Ed Paul Edwards in this one. Is is this a super fly eliminator or is it it's a fly, fly eliminator? It's done there. Because your last you were getting towards Bantam for your last couple of fights. So it, 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 is that something you make comfortably because you're a tall lad? The the only reason why I was fighting at the heavyweights because the opponents were going to be heavy. Right. So there was no really like, push to get down the eight stone, but I think from a second fight it was eight stone one the quarter, eight stone one and I did it easy, and then in our fight, the way in the day before, I was 8 stone 1 as well, but the way I was on the day of the fight, so I was 8 seven or so. Yeah, and you're fighting Paul Edwards now, uh, it's 
he's really sort of moved moved on a lot in the last year and you know I think you probably say yourself he's fought some probably better probably guys better, than you uh, fought better, better opposition though. and and the two year actually are very similar a similar level I think he's 8 and 1 you're 7 and 0 oh, is that right yeah yeah two year 25 and I think you're, you're a smid, bit taller a couple yeah. of inches taller than him but have you watched his fights his last fight with Shinny Bayer that he won and the, and, the, and the close one that he had with Chris Edwards as well oh, I really thought he won the Chris Edwards fight yeah. I gave him a lot of hang for it he showed a lot of, lot of balls and guts league so I expect him to do it against me so uh, I want him to come yeah. in and say uh, he's in a better condition than all that he was against Chris Edwards because when I beat him I don't want him saying excuses he is a good fighter he really is a good fighter but I'm a better fighter and I'll, yeah. I'll show it on the 21st so have you watched the Bayer fight and yeah. have you watched the, the, the Chris Evans fight the, what, what have you taken from that what from his style what kind of style are you expecting he's tricky enough he, he does a couple of mistakes but he's been getting away of him against the worst opposition against Chris Edwards he was a, a lot better condition than the Amador and he started very fast but faded but I was his first 12 round fight I've never did a 12 round fight so but we train in here and when you spar in here you see the day that the heat it, it doesn't compare to what you're fighting on the night it's, yeah. it's a breeze so I'll be ready for the, 12, the 10 round fight and to pick up the pace when he has to pick up the pace so I'll, be, yeah. I'll match everything he's doing I've seen flaws against Andy Bell and I'll expo exploit them with this one so. yeah and you're going over to Liverpool fighting his backyard doesn't, doesn't seem to cost you a thought oh, I'm busting for it I yeah. can't wear I'm not saying I'm a big fan of Scousers League, yeah. but uh, I want them to be screaming at me and screaming all the abuse to them because I'm going to smash them the bits the more they scream. It gets it, me angry. Because like they're, so. they're actually quite similar to the Belfast yeah, fans. Yeah, they're, they're very, they, they, you they know, they're passionate, they're passionate. They, they, they know about their boxing. They don't really, um, they wouldn't be stupid fans, you know what I mean? Yeah. They would see, I, I applaud a good shot, yeah. and if you were to win the fight, they would applaud you, they wouldn't yeah. still like, boo you and stuff the way they do here, but I want them to they be fired up for this because the more they're fired up, they're going to make me fired up. Yeah. And the, the more I'm fired up, the worse it is for Paul Edwards because I'm coming to kill here on the 21st. Yeah, and talking about the 21st, we're not, we're not, we're not a million miles off that. We just got through the Christmas. Did you have much of a Christmas? Uh, Christmas was all right. I've been doing everything right. See? I've been doing a right um, dieting program, strength and conditioning program. We didn't really stop training. We took Christmas Day off. We were back in Spawn on Boxing Day. And everything was okay. The weight everything was bang on so I don't yeah. feel no different it, it's good having someone else in the house training with you make them abroad is yeah. when on the 20th for the Irish seniors. seniors so yeah. when I'm feeling down he's feeling down you know what I mean so it's all the exact same I know what he's going through he's not going to cheat and I'm not going to cheat he would, tip, uh, would tell on me if you yeah. <laughs> say if I was to cheat now so who have you brought in to spare to try and replicate? Well, Michael can replicate anyone. He's as awkward as anyone I know. He can fight safe, Paul. He can fight orthodox. He can fight you. He can box you. He's one of the best in the world. He's ranked number four or something in the world now as an amateur. And sparring with him. And then he were bringing in Paddy Barnes, Mark McCulloch. Uh, there's an English guy as well coming over. So uh, Brad Watson. So we're, we're going to be... But a couple of amateur guys as well that was going to be coming down. Yeah. Used to come down the day, but they'll be down on Monday for sport. So the more the merrier because Paul Edwards still has a bit of an amateur style, but he's more a bit rounded now as a pro as he's in the Chris Edwards fight. So anything he's going to be doing, I'll be doing, be able to do better. So what's your plan now over the next three weeks? We'll, we'll pick up the pace now again in sparring, more rounds, get the distance, pick up the pace in the running, do more sprinting, and uh, keep on the strength and conditioning, the weight taken down. It's it's coming down brilliant, I have to say. I'm actually surprised it's been so late and it's early for a fight. Especially after Christmas. Especially after Christmas. Yeah. Christmas was it, yeah. My Christmas is, is yeah, in January. Yeah, in January, January. Yeah. So it, even it, it didn't really get in the Christmas spirit, you know, this year. So all the presents, people will be getting more presents at the 25th when I come back. But uh, everything's going brilliant. We'll pick it up again. It's full throttle right now. Like I'm, I'm busting to get going. I, I really feel like I, this is my shot and I'm going to grab a full pants. Yeah. Three. Four. Five.